Hi, this is Coach Tony Morgan of the Masterful Engineer Programme. So today's video is going to be a different one than what you're used to because you're not going to see the normal video format. You're going to be looking at, at this on a PowerPoint type style of presentation. Now it's a trial run what I'm doing and hopefully you'll like it. So I'd like your feedback at the end of the video. You can post that on the bottom of this video just to see what you feel about this style of video and how it helps you in your development. So we're gonna be looking at the Worcester Green Star 8000 style. We're gonna be talking about the, um, it's a new model and I'll be going through its um, functionality, some new additions what I've seen looking at this boiler. I'm just going through the setup and some of the elements like um, the components, the functionality as I said, and also how to set the engineer mode to take the analyzing and the gas valve which is quite different on this particular model and you'll see that and hopefully you'll get a bit of education on this particular unit so we'll dive in and we'll see what's involved so this is the front panel as you can see this particular unit it comes in white as you can see and also it comes in black so I think the different versions are by the name. This is the style and the other one is the life or light, I should say. So we're looking at the style model. You can see it's white. Now I'm gonna go through how you take the cover off on the front panel. So to remove the front panel, what we do first, we remove the bottom panel, as you can see here. We just pull this down, it just clips off and then you see it like this and you just put that to one side. Once that's removed, you can see, you can see all the pipe work underneath. That's what that covers over. So you've got a screw in the center. It's actually removed at the moment. You remove that screw and once that's done, then you can lift off the front panel. With that removed, then you can see the control panel. So here you've got some, um, I would describe them probably like um, controls, let us say. And these are touch controls, what you press on a control panel. So at the center, at 12 o'clock <coughs> position, you can see the flame. That's when the burner's on. Then at the bottom, that is that you're OK. So you press the OK button. On the right hand side, that's like at the 3 o'clock position, that's your menu buttons up and down. Then on the other side, you've got your hot water symbol and your central heating symbol. So I'll talk you through how we set the boiler up for engineer mode and when we're going through the functions. Here you can see we've lowered down the front control panel. So at the left and right, you can see the two green sections there. You press them in. Once you press them in, then that can drop down towards you and then you can see all the controls. Okay, so let's look at some of the components inside the boiler here. Now you can see at the top left there, that's a pressure gauge. And then right in front, you can see the condensed trap. So to release that condensed trap, you can see it's got the unlock button padlock. Press that up, upwards, and then it'll clip off. And then you can pull the condensed trap towards you. Remember, you've got to remove the black holes there take that off and then the condensed trap can come out you can see the central heating pump right in front of you there and then you can see the diverter valve motor that's the green thing that's a cover over the diverter valve motor that's what's under there so that's from the old style that i've always had that diverter valve motor so it's parts of it to me it's like the old si model because that's the same design you can see the um, actuator, not the actuator, you can see the flow turbine just above there. And if we look a bit close, you can see the PRV, and you can also see the hot water heat exchanger. So they're the main things what we can see in that area. Also, if I can mention, to remove the um, combustion cover, you can see the screw that brass screw there we're going to remove that screw and i'll show you how that comes off 
This is just a close up to the flow turbine as I mentioned just before. And again, you can see the diverter valve motor cover in the green. And you can see a bit more of the hot water plate heat exchanger just on the left there. You can see just above the pump, that's the ratchet on um, if you look at some of the other videos I've made or if you go on the Master of Basics program you'll see us removing that when we take out the full hydraulic block. Here's a close up of the pressure leaf valve and just above that you can see this is a pressure sensor. Now that's quite new to the Worcester, they didn't have the pressure sensor on the I range of boilers or the CDIs, they didn't have a pressure sensor but now you can see they've introduced one. So this is the combustion cover, as I was saying, the inner combustion cover. So that screw gets removed, as I said, at the bottom, and then that just lifts off, and then you can get access into the main heat exchanger. Also, you can see on the left there is the expansion vessel. So this is the combustion cover removed. You can see how it covers all the full area. So that now brings us access into the main heat exchanger area. So you can see on the design of this heat exchanger, it's from the CDI range. So they've kept this engine, which is their basically proven heat exchanger throughout the year. So they kept the same design from the CDI range. And you can see the fan, it's the same type of style as well. Probably different in its design, but it physically looks the same. You can see the um, electrode, spark electrode, and the flame sensing electrode. Then you can see where at the top, that's where the burn will be. That'll burn down through the heat exchanger, down to the bottom, across the sump, and then back up again, out the flue, and out the flue to outside. Then you can see you can see on the um, just on the left of the heat exchange, you can see that's going to be the primary sensor. And then if you come further down, you can see the gas valve. We'll look at that a bit closely in a minute. But if you look on the flow pipe, you can see there's a another type of thermistor. So we've got like two thermistors. They normally have just the one, so they've introduced another thermistor there. And you can see the fan test point. Again, we'll look at that a bit closer in just a second. So that's the main parts of the main heat exchanger, what you can see. So we zoomed in a bit, and now you can see the spark generator. As I was saying before, this is the fan test point. There, it's a bit closer now, you can see that. And you can see the two thermistors, as I said earlier. You've got another sensor on the top of the um, heat exchanger as well. So they've got quite a few sensors on this boiler as opposed to the old model. So they've got quite a few. They'll probably have one on the return for Mr. as well. So this is the gas valve. Now this is a lot different from the previous models of Worcester. So we've got a 24 volt gas valve, quite a dinky small one. Now what's different about this is the fact is you can't use a screwdriver to open the test nipple to do your working pressure. You have to use a special star bolt to open the actual connection. Also, it's find out which one it is actually where you do the working pressure from. So for people who have not seen this before, it's going to be quite a shock. But you're going to see in this particular video how easy it is to locate. So there you go. You can see it attached and which one it's on. So as I said, you use your star bolt to open the test nipple and then you can attach your tube to your U gauge. So we're now going to look at doing your gas analyzing. So you already know where the test point is. There you go at the top there. So you put your analyzer in there and then I'm going to show you how you do your analyzing, putting it to it into engineer mode or chimney sweep mode, whatever you prefer to call it. So this is your front control panel, as we said earlier. Now we're just going to put this into engineer mode. So what you do, you press the OK button and you hold that in for five seconds. So you can see it's got the five seconds on it. Hold that in 
and then that will change into chimney sweep mode or engineer mode ready for it to go into high speed so once you've done that this is what you'll now see on the display so it's showing 100% power that means the fan speed is going at full speed so you just leave it a couple of minutes and then you check your analyzer and then you'll get the following reading so this is what you should be getting on your analyzer so you can see the CO2 in 9.4 percent that's about right CO parts per million 56 and that's your ratio as well so that's what you should be getting on your analyzer on maximum power so now what we've done at this point we've pressed the menu button that's the arrow downwards press that and then it'll go into 10% that's minimum fan speed so you can do your minimum analyzing and get your reading from there so this is your expected reading you can see that's 8.7 and again you can see your ratio and your parts per million so once you finish with that then what you do now you press your the arrow back button you press that and then you'll get this screen coming up so what you do now you're going to press yes to cancel the chimney sweep mode press ok and then that will take it out of that mode back into normal operation so then you'll be back to normal operation mode so you'll just see the display just like this so once you've finished all of that you obviously take everything off and put your cap back on your flume etc and then you start putting things back together so you're going to put the combustion cover on you're going to click that on the hook at the top there and then you put the screw in as i said once that's done you're going to put the top panel back just clip it in and then press it downwards so it's nice and flat then you're going to get the control panel push that back up clip it back in and then we're ready to put the rest of the boiler back together so then you get the front panel clip it onto the top panel push it down so it's all in the nice and firm and then you just got to put the bottom screw in at the bottom so there's your screw what you're going to put back in that position there and then it's just then the bottom panel to clip back so that's your bottom panel just push that up hook it in first from the back into the back of the boiler clip it up and push in home nice and firm make sure it's all flat and that's it all reassembled back together so that's going to be the end of this video as i said it's going to be a new style of video what i'm going to trial out see what you think if you prefer it like this it's um for me i think it's going to be a better way for you to learn but also we've got the normal traditional videos we'll be doing as well so give me your, your feedback let me know what you think and um i'll see you in the next video so thanks for watching Bye for now.